So if we have more than one computer, it doesn't matter if it's laptops or desktops, mini computers are full-fledged desktops and we want to share one single display, one single mouse, one single keyboard, a gamepad and a lot more peripherals between them without the need to connect and disconnect cables between them, which is a mess then this is the solution. This is a KVM switch, two ports, HDMI and USB Type-C up to 4K at 60 Hz, which will allow us to share two computers simultaneously with one single display and all the peripherals that we want. My name is Roberto George, welcome back to the Aureus YouTube channel and let's take a closer look at it. So inside the package we will find the Aure 4K two port USB Type-C and HDMI switch along with a USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable, a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable and a wired remote control which might be handy if we want to change not only here on the switch but also if I want to have it in a more comfortable position I can just route the cable and then near me I can just press the button and switch between the computers which we will see in just a moment. In terms of connectivity here at the front we will find two USB 2.0 ports which are dedicated if we want to connect keyboard, mouse, gamepad and whatnot and then two 5 gigabit USB type a port, one 5 gigabit USB Type-C port, a control port which is where we are going to connect the wired remote and a audio out. Now at the back we have a HDMI output which will connect to our TV or to our display and then we have for PC number one the USB Type-C port that will connect directly to the computer and the PD in which is power delivery and we will connect to our charger and this will allow us to power the laptop while we are using. Now for PC number two we have an HDMI input which we will connect to the laptop and then we will have a 5 gigabit USB type-c port which is the connection that will carry the data so that we can share data between two computers as we will have the chance to see. So connectivity wise it's simple as this and now let's take a look at a setup and now with a setup example for the KVM switch or a UKM 201C which will support displays up to 4K at 60 Hz, USB Type-C and HDMI KVM, which is really simple to use. Connectivity wise, we have one of the computers, which is my MacBook Pro at this moment, connected via one single cable right over here on the USB Type-C port. So this cable will bring in the power and it will bring out image to the display and it will share data as well. Now we do have a second cable connected here which will bring power and it will charge the computer while it's connected. Now at this moment if I want to go away I just need to remove this cable, I can pick up my laptop and leave and all my peripherals will be here. So this is really handy so let's connect it back once again and once we connect it will be detected automatically by the KVM switch and one really curious thing is that as we will have the chance to see once it refreshes is that we will have our setup exactly as we left which was one browser but it could be any other windows any other software that we had open and we would just arrive home connect it and there we go this is something really cool now of course if we want to start working in multi windows or multi displays we can do so and we can arrange the displays the way that we want let this one moment with a dual display. I could duplicate the display as well and have it in clamshell mode but at this moment extend display then of course take advantage of a keyboard, mouse, gamepad, whatever we want. I also have connected here one SSD which if I go to my MacBook Pro right over here I can just open Finder and I will see that this SSD is named Afro so we will see this on Windows as well. Now to change from one computer to the other one which is connected via cable HDMI and USB Type-A to USB Type-C or we could use USB Type-C to Type-C. So the HDMI will bring the image to the KVM and the USB will be used to share data that we have on our Windows computer. Now we are using two laptops but we could use desktops as long as the desktop has an HDMI output and a USB connection great and as long as the desktop has a USB Type-C port which more computers have these days. So right now I could change 
change from Mac OS to Windows just by pressing the button right over here and it will change from 2 to 1. We can see right over here the LED indication from blue to green or green to blue depending on what we change and after a few seconds we will have the Windows computer right over here and using the same keyboard and the same mouse I will be able to control both computers of course one each time just by pressing the button and right over here we have the displays in this particular case if I identify is number one and number two I could duplicate display as well but we want to use it extended mode which is one of the modes that we can use right over here and let's open this browser close this window so the official ORA's website just as an example but we could use any other application to multitask so this is the basic usability of the KVM if I go right over here and open the Explorer one of the things that we will see is that we have and let's bring to this display we have exactly the same media that we have we can see here the IFRO so or AFRO and so this is the local disk the internal SSD and this is the external SSD which is right over here if I disconnect it from here it will disconnect from the computer and right now if I connect right over here then I can save it will appear I can save my data here on Windows and if I want to transfer to Mac the only thing that I need to do is press the button here there on the KVM or we can use this included it's not a remote control but it's an extension control which we can just unroll and put it uh, on a more comfortable way but uh, here just for this setup I'm using right over here without even leaving this roll here but we can see that the SSD is right over there so if I wanted to transfer something from the Windows computer to the Mac OS this would be the easiest possible and let's press once again we will see the um, SSD appearing right over there so let's go the image will be the last one but as we can see there we go the SSD is already here on screen and then the image takes a couple more seconds and that is it it's easy as this we will be able to use any two computers different operating systems the same operating system laptop or desktop with the same keyboard the same mouse without changing cables at all I do have the mouse and keyboard connected right over here but I could connect also game pads we can connect other peripherals via the 5 gigabit connection or the 10 gigabit connection and we have a simple and organized setup that when I want I can just close my computer and remove one single cable take my computer with me and once I arrive home again I just need to plug in one single cable that will allow me to use all these peripherals and at the same time we just heard the sound it will charge my laptop which is really really cool so if that's your case you have two computers doesn't matter if it's desktop or laptop two laptops two desktops it doesn't matter all we need to pay attention is that we will require one of the computers to have USB type C image output and then on the other computer that we have an HDMI image output and one of them can be charged which is usually the laptop and this one here will not be charged so the power will come from the desktop as usual like we have right over here we will power the computer and then we just need the cable from HDMI and the USB type C so that it has data transfer between them and that is it we will have one button here one button here so that we can change between computers without messing with cables and you saw that advantage which we can just disconnect from the laptop one single cable take it to work and then when we arrive just connect one single cable and we will have everything connected once again without the mess of changing cables hopefully this video was helpful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen if you still haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing it so so that we can share news and tips such as this one right over here my name is Huerto George and as always I'll see you on the next one